Hello everyone. So back at it with a Toyota Camry 2000 Toyota Camry. Um, it's got a issue with the regulator and the window motor. Um, I'm not savvy with this kind of stuff, but you know when you when you gotta do it, you gotta do it, right? Um, I'm mostly an engine guy and transmission no not transmission um suspension and brakes those are mainly my things but anyways i gotta do this um this is one of my cars and uh, uh i was repairing this car because i recently bought it and uh it had a whole lot of things to replace mostly suspension but, um, and, uh, steering, steering components, man, this car was, if you were to sit in the car, the whole car would just drop. That's how it was. So, <clears throat> anyways, now it's got new suspension, uh, new steering components. Luckily, the rack and pinion is working perfectly. Um, the things that were bad on it was just the inner and our tie rods, everything else is, is fine. But anyways, um, the reason I noticed this uh, regulator and motor are bad is that after I finished the car, I was cleaning the interior of the car. And I was like, okay, let me, let me test everything. I, I need to make sure everything's working. So... I turned on the car and I started testing each of the windows. When I got to this one, uh, the window went down, but then it wouldn't go up. I'm like, oh, okay. And, you know, I could, I can move. Let me show you. I can move the window up and down by myself with not a lot of effort, but, um, yeah, so I'm thinking that the, probably the uh, little sprock, the uh, teeth of the little wheel that the window motor uses to move the uh, regulator up and down, uh, I think that it's broken. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to replace both of them since everybody that I saw uh, on the internet is saying might as well just replace it all. Since you gotta re remove this, the, the regulator, to remove the window motor because the window motor is bolted to the regulator, not to the door. So, you know, might as well replace the whole thing. And uh, I got it on Amazon for a very good price. I'm not gonna complain on that. So, anyways, let me get down to it. I am using a 10 millimeter socket i don't know you can see that right there may maybe yeah it's a 10 millimeter socket uh, i'm using my uh, milwaukee quarter inch impact um i already loosened out those two 10 millimeter bolts for the window i mean for the glass but i think i need to give a little bit more there we go Oh, it's coming. It's about to fall off. There we go. Okay, got it. All right, and this one is just about there. Let me put this bolt over here. Okay, okay come. To, oh, no. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, this thing just came off. The uh, n entire regulator just said, no way, I'm out. Yep, so. <clears throat> I believe all of this is supposed to be bolted to these. Should be. But, I don't know. I have never done this door on this car before, so. You know, I could be wrong. And you guys can correct me on that if you guys know anything about that. I am, um, you could say I'm new to uh, to this uh, 
Toyota issue. I'm gonna lift this window up. Okay, come up, up, there we go. No, 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 not down, up. Stick to that. Uh, I just got a piece of tape there. I'm gonna see if I can grab another. I had put a whole lot of piece of tapes uh, to hold. I uh, just noticed my hand is on the way of the camera, but sorry, I gotta do that. I'm trying to just hold the glass in place. I don't want that to come down when I am. Um... Come on. I don't want it to come down on me. Okay, I'm going to put another piece here. It would suck if this glass came down and it just cracked. That would really, really suck. Cause then that that would mean more money into a car that I just got. There you go, four pieces of tape. Okay, now back over here. Let's see, angle this. Right. So my fingers in the way. There you go. All right. Now, I believe, like I said, I believe this was bolted to these, but it looks like it broke. Who knows? Maybe this thing is from the year 2000. I don't know. Ah. That's not going to go anywhere unless I do this. Okay. Okay, so not all of this is completely separated. Part of it's still bolted to that, so. And there it went. All right. Made my life easy that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this thing's pretty old. This thing's pretty old. Yep, yep. Okay. Let's put this aside. Okay, let's get down to. Um, there's nothing grabbing onto this one. Let me check the top one. <sighs> nothing here either. Huh. That's odd, because. I see you were supposed to. Apparently you're supposed to take all of those off, but yeah. let's see. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Boom, come down. Oh, this one more. It's coming apart. It's coming. Okay. I guess I better be ready for that one. Probably don't got you guys on the best angle, but doing my best here to give you guys the best view. And there goes a the piece. Yeah, this whole thing broke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole thing broke apart in the door some time ago. Um, but you're supposed to go in now. Go in. Okay. Well, I'm glad I bought the whole regulator and motor thing. Look at this. I gotta show you this. Look at that. It's like it got overheated or something and it melted itself to death. That's what it looks like. Even though the wire doesn't look like it's burnt but probably everything happened in here that's what I think I could be wrong whatever I'm taking that out that's trash and okay now 
you're probably thinking, well, I bought this from Amazon. Or, are those parts any good? You might think, well, they might not be the best. Probably don't have the best warranty. But, for me, it's working. Um, I've bought, basically all the parts for this car have been from Amazon. And I even, I also have to do the oil pan, the, you know, no, the transmission oil pan for this car. And I got the, um, I got the new transmission oil pan. I have the new gasket and the new filter, everything from Amazon. So I'm paying less. You could say I'm going cheap, but I am paying less. And I'm getting the same parts for less money. Uh, if they're cheap, well, I guess time will tell me if I'm buying crappy parts. The thing is, sometimes on Amazon, you can buy suspension parts from, I can just give you an example, from Detroit Axle. If you search them on Amazon, uh, Detroit Axle... Uh, on some of the parts, brakes and suspension parts, uh, you can get up to like a 10-year warranty on on the parts they sell. You don't get that from the local stores. Yeah, probably AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, they give you that uh, uh, limited lifetime warranty. But they're kind of sketchy on the, uh, the warranty details. So... I rather go with these guys, Detroit Axle. They're straight to the point, you know. So, in 10 years, if whatever part you bought from them, uh, let's just say eight years pass by and you uh, have a part from Detroit Axle and it breaks or just completely wears out, like a brake rotor or brake pad would do. Uh, you can just get a replacement for free because it's under a 10 year warranty with them. So, uh, AutoZone is kind of sketchy. Uh, they would look at the brake pads, and depending on how bad the brake pads look, they will either give you like a, a 80% off the original price for the new part. So it's like, you're not really getting the warranty. It's just getting a discount, you know. Anyways, let me open this box. I have the new reg regulator and the new motor in here. Let me, let me find my uh, box opener. Okay, that's a lot of tape going around. Okay. Hold back. There we go. Okay, so here are the new parts. Let me check this out. Alright. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I can't tell. I'm using my uh, my uh, phone's camera. I'm not using an actual uh, really good camera like you would do. I had a, a lens on the side that you can flip over and that way you can see the same thing that you're recording without, without having to go to the back side of the phone. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyways, this is it right here. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, it looks just the 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 old one right here. It broke completely. Like this whole piece, this whole piece right here broke apart from the rest of it. 
and uh, that is the reason why it was not going up or down. So, uh, anyways, I got a brand new. Let's get it on. Okay, so if I remember correctly, uh, these two holes right here will have to line up to this and this, and then these two will go here, and these two will have to go here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Okay, now let's close this up. And we gotta sneak this in through this door hole. Okay. I'm gonna make sure this cable comes this way. Okay. You're gonna see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, um, you see that, hold on, you see that tab right there? That tab has to go through this square hole right here. And it's the same thing on, I believe, two other tabs that are around the whole thing. So, I'm gonna square that one up in there. Okay, that one's in. Also, watch out for your fingers. You don't want to get your fingers caught on anything. Or, you know, it could be painful. Let's see. That one's in. Okay. I'm, a little, I'm noticing something here. Hmm. Noticing something. That's how it's supposed to go. It goes like this, but huh. I think I might have bitten the nail on this one because Check something real quick. Mm. Yeah, man, it looks so similar, yet it's still still not the same. Looks like I might have bitten the nail on this one because. The bolt holes don't really line up. And that's a shame. That's a real shame. Um, man. That's just straight up shame. Okay. I'm going to try it again. But if I see that it won't go in. I'm not going to force it. Because then I probably would need to... Um, I, w I would probably 
need to drill the hole over to the side or something because I was noticing that the two over here, this one and this one are not lining up. And that's not a good sign. That's automatically not a good sign. And it did say this is for the Toyota Camry. 2000 I mean uh, 97 to 2001 so it could be that I bought that I bought something really bad but let me fix that camera angle I just noticed that okay You're probably thinking at this moment, man, you should have gone to AutoZone or something. Well, yeah, you're right. You're probably right. I should have gone to AutoZone. Gone the right part on the first place. You know, it, things happen. Things happen. Man, bolt holes are like almost there. Almost there. Shoot. What I think is that this, I'm seeing that all the, if I align it correctly, I'm seeing that all the bolt holes are just slightly more that way. All of them, all six of them are slightly that way. I'm thinking that I could probably line this up right if I make a little adjustment to nonetheless this little guy right here make a little adjustment and it should fit I might as well just maybe cut it off I don't know let me see what I do and I'll let you guys know what I did a few moments later okay I'm gonna show you right now what I did um, First of all, I managed to get all the holes lined up. The problem was the tab the supposed to stick out through this square hole. I grabbed this right here and I just folded it straight. Now it's just straight out that way. And by doing that, I managed to get every little hole lined up. So I already got these two uh, finger tighten so now I'm just gonna put the other four hopefully the sunlight is not uh, messing with the uh, view but I had I had to put a hat on because it was uh, getting on my nerves um, it was getting on my nerves how uh, bright the Sun is shining down on the spot where I am um, yeah you can see now that I am able to hold on I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys and it's uh, kind of difficult on my end to get you guys a good angle so you can see what I'm doing okay And one more over here. Maybe I just gotta there, just like that. Okay. All right, so all these are finger tightened right now. And I guess I have to plug in the regulator so I can get the uh, arms to come down this way. Might as well do it right now, right? Let's see. This 
thingamajig goes up here. Uh huh. But that's not gonna reach. Uh, this kind of stuff that happens when you when you buy aftermarket. Uh, let's see, it goes maybe. Seeing that this doesn't reach all the way up there, let's put it this way. Okay, and I guess I gotta figure out. Maybe put it that way. Yeah. yeah. For now, I'm just gonna leave it out this way. I got the uh, button right here. The button. And let me get the key, and we'll get right on it. Okay, just got the key. Just gotta move the door a little bit out of the way. And then... Let's okay, make it go down. There we go. Perfect. Uh, don't tell me you're failing too. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave it like that. i got to drop the window. I'm going to raise the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, no, I'm not going to put you put you guys facing the sun. That would be, be ridiculous. Okay. Take the tape off. Ah, left a piece on it. Ah, that sucks. Come on. Come to daddy. Come on. No? Okay, this one wanna come with me. No, nah, that's fine. Alright, let's take this one off. Come on. Alright. That one's off. Got another one over here. Okay. And I got the last one, which I gotta somehow hold this. Okay, don't come down too fast. Okay. Okay. Guys down. Okay. I need to lift the line up into this hole, okay? I got that one. That one's probably the easiest one out of the two. And the other one is probably going to be a pain. I got a whole lot less room for the other one. Okay, let me see if I can just go ahead and put a bolt through this one. Let's see. Still not close enough. Let's see. Nah, it's probably not grabbing. Yeah, that's that's not grabbing. That's not grabbing at all. Okay. Okay. 
And it's like the bolt's not one in a time. One hour later. Okay, so it seemed to work. I had trouble putting these on. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, you can see right there pretty good. Okay, so these two bolts were a little bit of a pain for me. Um, probably you guys that do this more frequently can do this with your eyes closed, but not me. I can do brakes and suspension with my eyes closed. But these, nah, I, I don't, I don't do these often. Anyways, um, I tightened it up just a little bit with my impact. Uh, I used, um, you can see I, I used level one torque. So now it's working. I already tested it. I'm going to test it in front of you guys so you guys can see that it's working. And up. See, it's all the way up and down. Perfect. And this is from Amazon. Now, you know, uh, there is also Rock Auto. And um, they have really good prices. Here's the thing, though. I used to buy from Rock Auto a lot. That's, that's you could say that's, that was my supplier when I started as a mechanic because I would look at the prices that AutoZone would give me um, even even as a commercial account owner which I have one with AutoZone um, even with the uh, discount they give me as a commercial account uh, I would pay a lot more with AutoZone than with Amazon. Now I didn't say Rock Auto because Rock Auto gives you a price when you look at the, at the list of parts they have for whatever it is you're looking for. It, it, I'm going to give you an example. It could, it could say $35 for that one part. $35. All right. But when you go to the uh, payment part, it shows you the tax and it shows you the cost of shipping. Uh, Amazon, I have Amazon Prime, so I'm paying what, uh, shoot, I, right now I don't remember my, uh, my membership cost, but with Amazon Prime, you got basically two day free shipping, okay? Uh, the parts I get from Amazon are most likely going to be for Prime shipping, so it's two day shipping. Uh, my parts cost me about the same price as it shows on the part listing on uh, Rock Auto. So if it's $35 on Rock Auto, it might say 37 on Amazon. But you know that when you go to the, uh, find the cost of shipping, you're still gonna pay more than $37. Now with Amazon and tax, probably that 37 turn, turns close to 40, you still pay more than uh, $40 in Amazon for a $35 part, okay? Because you gotta add the tax and then add the tip, add the shipping. So yeah, uh, even if you have the $5% 5 discount from Rocado, it's still not enough. Trust me, it's not enough. So that's why I, I go to Amazon and get my parts. Uh, I pay less for the same thing. Yeah, I had to modify that little piece right there, but who cares? Um, there's always something you gotta do when you buy aftermarket parts. Here you can see the uh, regulator, the old regulator in the old window motor uh, that came out of the door. Uh, you can see this split in two. And here you can see the sprocket that fell out when I was pulling out the uh, window motor. Um, that sprocket is the piece that um, goes on the window motor and um, that rotates when you click on the button to go up or go down. That um, also moves the regulator up and down. And you can see that sprocket was completely demolished.
And now that you can see the the door uh, completely put back on, uh, the door panel is installed. The thing is on the um, on the door, the plastic part that goes where uh, you pull the handle to open the door, that got that that broke apart. That broke apart when I was taking the uh, door panel off on the first time. And this is the car. This is the 2000 Toyota Camry that I was just doing this work on. And uh, that's the car. Um, now, I was going to give you guys a, de a short detail on everything that I have done to it. So, at the back end of the car, I have done uh, the new rear end links, new uh, rear sway bar bushings, new hubs, new lug nuts. Um, the other thing was the, uh, shocks and struts at the back and at the front, at the whole lot more at the front, at the front is the control arms, the knuckle assembly that came with brand new hubs and new wheel bearings, um, new lug nuts also. Uh, new CV axle on the passenger side, uh, that one was split in half. I think I still got that video from when I took that apart. And um, I can uh, probably put that on on the next video that I put up. But um, the other things I did at the front were the inner and outer tie rods for the steering system. Um end links, I think I've mentioned that, end links in the front, uh, soy bar bushings at the front, um, at the engine, I did a new thermostat, new thermostat um, outlet pipe, this time I put an aluminum, it had a plastic pipe, but the plastic was already melting, so it was leaking, I took that out, put the new aluminum that I got from AutoZone, and then... Uh, the valve cover gasket, a new camshaft plug. Uh, I hear that sometimes that can be a pain. Uh, the only two ways to get to the camshaft plug is either taking out the uh, valve cover and replacing the valve cover gasket at the same time or taking apart uh, the area where the ignition coils uh, get connected to the wiring. And I would say the easiest way would be taking the valve cover since it's only four big nuts holding the valve cover down yeah you might have to do some more work but it looks like it's the easiest way to get to the camshaft plug the other thing i did was the oil pan uh brand new oil pan with new gasket and engine mounts all around uh, this car had the engine rocking back and forth with the uh, engine mounts that it used to have. Um, yeah, so that is everything I have done to my car. Uh, probably you're thinking, ah, you wasted your time on this Camry. Well, the thing is, I like older cars. New cars nowadays are very computerized, so... Uh, even though suspension and brakes are probably still the same as it was before, but everything that is engine and uh, interior wise, it's all computerized now. So one little thing could mess up everything else in the car. Not like it used to be in the old days. Yeah, that's that's why I, I like older cars. It's just they're they're easier to work with. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's that's it. That's the end of this video. You guys have a great day, great week, and uh, till next time.